Hey guys, welcome back to a whole new episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. Uh, so today is Thumpin' Thursday. Woo woo! Wah, wah. Oh! <laughs> well, no. We have a great Chad Watson video up today. Uh, one of the best bass players I've ever seen, I think, to come to this store. Um, he, you gotta watch it. Yeah, you gotta watch it. He's got like this whole like ninja flow when he plays. How does it, how does it do it? It's like a willow tree. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty was, good. That's pretty, good. <laughs> that's pretty but, good. But uh oh and also make sure you guys check out all guitar network. Uh, we've been doing some behind the scenes stuff there. We're also going to do guitar of the week, so we'll take our favorite guitar from all the guitars of the day of the week and then if that made any sense, that would be really cool. But no, <laughs> we're going to uh Take pick my favorite of the week, and we're gonna cover some extra stuff um, what? over there. What? Yeah, I know, Jen. That's cool. Oh, cool. That's cool. There we go. All right, Let's she says it it's out. cool. As long as we have Jen's blessings, it's cool. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, we got a special guest today. Um, once again, it's my friend Todd we Weisenbaker, and uh, he's been a great help here uh, at Norm. Seriously, uh, a big addition uh, to the team, and uh, just doing amazing work and I like he's just got a whole nother angle uh, than from what I do and other people do so we're gonna bring him in and have him showcase another guitar that you don't see often on Guitar of the Day so come on in. Oh, cool. Toddy another great <laughs> introduction from my man. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so it's not Thumpin' Thursday. Um, I also play bass so I feel you're uh, paying bass players, but it's maybe a thumb pick Thursday. Um, maybe, Jen, <laughs> you know? Where's my laugh track on that I one? I guess. Um, okay, so uh, this has actually been <laughs> done before because I was trying to find the color of it, and thanks to Google, it went to the time that Mark did this. And that didn't make me not want to do it again, it made me want to do it more because he has good taste in guitars, and maybe I do as well. Um, so, from 1992, great year, it's, it's about around the time that I started playing guitar, it's a PRS Custom 24 in root beer finish, kind of maple leaf flame top, um, I think it's a really, I don't know why it's root it's beer. It's so and cool. I think it's gorgeous. Um, Put some ice cream on it. We're gonna <laughs> <laughs> Just go next door and put some vanilla on there. Now, I'm gonna throw a little contest in here. Wow. Now, look at these inlays. I always thought it was like a bird flying, but it's actually different birds. I'm gonna mm. drop a little knowledge. That bird right there is an owl, and that lets you know that there's 24 frets. So if you see a guitar, PRS with the owl right there, although um, it kind of just looks like an inlay. Um, <laughs> so if the first person to comment with what the rest of the birds are, you get a gold star next to your name. I will put a gold star next to your name. A warrior, okay. No, it just exists, and oh. I'll give you a gold star for the for Norman's Rare Guitars. Um, so let's pull this bad boy out and kind of give you a rundown of what's going on. So this is a 1992. This is their flagship model. It was uh, brought to NAMM in 1985, so this is just a few years after that. Made in the first factory. Um, yeah, so it's a relatively early. Two humbucker pickups, now we have a five-way selector. Um, okay, so it's kind of like a Strat. Oh, there are a, a lot of things about the guitar that make it kind of between a Les Paul and a Strat, starting with the five-way selector. So when you're on the neck pickup, it's just neck pickup, then you go down, and it is this turned into a single coil and this turned into a single coil and they're in parallel so you kind of get that in between strat quacky sound it's not as extreme because they're not so close so, but it's still you'll hear it it's still present and then in next one over it's both humbuckers uh like a les paul and then uh the other the last position is bridge Sorry, the next, the fourth position, I guess you want to call it, is... I was going to say, <laughs> I, know, I, know. I know. wait, what? Well, there's a lot. Okay, the, only, fourth, I, the fourth position. Yeah, I can okay. only count to three. Oh, okay. So the other, the other like, Strat-esque position would be the bridge, and this turned into a single coil in parallel. So it's still 
a little quacky, kind of the out of phase sound, and then the last position is just the bridge, like a normal Les Paul. So a couple of other things, it has a Strat-esque trim um, with the, the six screws right there, and it works very well. Uh, volume and tone, and then the scale is 25 inches, so it's a little bit longer than a Les Paul, a little bit shorter than a Fender scale. And the radius of the fretboard is, it's a 10 inch radius. So again, a little bit bigger than a Fender, a little bit, um, not as not as flat as a Gibson. Locking tuners. So again, the thing that really sticks out about PRSs in general is the playability. They, um, it, it's a very particular feeling. The tension isn't quite like a Les Paul and it's not quite like a Strat. And if you, you're not like a geek about specs, like I am, you pick it up and you just feel, it just feels like a nice playing guitar. Um, so this is, yeah. All in all, it's just one of, those, one of those guitars as a kid that I thought was just badass. Um, probably saw Santana playing one first. But yeah, I love the inlays and your boy Mayer's ripping it with Dead & Co with one of these. And I'll see if I can try to play like five dead songs out there. Um, again, I'm not gonna really too go, go too deep into the Jerry thing because I'm just strumming. Um, but give you an example and let's take it out front and see how it sounds. Let's go. You forgot the guitar, you have to grab it. Um, I'll to have play my, it. no, no, I'll have my tech grab it. Oh, and tune it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. <laughs> well, that was fun out back. <laughs> All right, here we are up front with the uh, 1992 PRS Custom 24. We we're in uh, just this position. I'll explain again all the uh, options, but we are in just the neck pickup right now. is going to be this turned into a single coil and this turned into a single coil in parallel so it's kind of like the spankier uh, strat sound
moving right along. So this is going to be uh, both the bridge and the neck pickup together. And let's do a little slap back on this one. And a little bit of trap. Next position, we have this turned into a single coil, it's tapped, and then this one just as the bridge pickup. And a little more uh, beefier of a strat sound than before. <laughs> down the line to the last position. Just the bridge. Have it the 1992 PRS Custom 24 in beautiful root beer finish. Okay. Check it out on <laughs> normanshirtarts.com on Instagram, Facebook. Facebook, in store, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, some people walked in. Um, there you go. Thanks a lot. Bye. Ooh.